Uh, this video is going to be the first in a series of videos in which I'm going to be instructing you on basically a uh, first year computer science class which is going to include um, basically a full comprehensive knowledge of basic C++. So where I'm going to begin is I'm going to give you some basic computer science knowledge in the first video. The second video I'm going to show you how to download and install a compiler. And in the third video I'm going to begin uh, teaching how to code. So if you already know what a compiler is or already have one installed, you can go ahead and jump straight to the third video. If not, you can watch the first one. Or if you already know basically how a computer works and uh, how it might read code and, and comprehend it, you can just move straight on to the second. So in this series of videos, I'm going to be making it as comprehensive as possible. I'm going to not only just show you what to do, but sort of assign you a few simple tasks in, in, uh, in, in programming. I'm going to give you some input and some expected output for uh, a few programs, maybe once every five or so videos. And if you can build a program that does this, you're on the right track. So uh, a few words about C++ before I begin. C++ is a really good language to start learning. Even if you kind of want to do something, something completely different later on, like say web design or maybe, you know, just something you wouldn't really do in C++. C++ is a very good language to learn first because it teaches you all about coding syntax. Because C++ is uh, what's known as a, a compiled language. That means that your computer has to build it first and then run it. And uh, that, that tends to, at least from my experience, have a little bit more picky syntax. And once you kind of work with a language like that, you're a little bit more well equipped to move on to some other languages. Um, like say uh, HTML, which is uh, a lot more forgiving, a little bit more easy to learn. So even if you want to do something completely different, this is a great place to start. I would highly recommend that you follow this course and uh, learn what you can in C++. Or if you already are, say, uh, taking a course in C++, this is a great supplementary series of videos to watch. So uh, that's all I have to say for now. Hope to see you in the next video.